There was an unusual scene this afternoon at Crooch Park in downtown. Locals gathered to see a well-known guest in his classic black outfit, plus his popular sidearm. 10 News photojournalist Ryan Chadwick shows us why Darth Vader made a stop in Knoxville. Well, we met on Monday night and um, we would start like rehearsing just in the, in the building. And then uh, um, a couple weeks back, we started rehearsing outside and then we would um, go from different areas and we'd start like walking in. We were very excited though. We were trying to think um, that something they wanted to do with the Knoxville Symphony for a long time, but with the union and contracts, we couldn't get that going. But with the kids, it was a lot of fun and they had a good time planning it. I like seeing the people's reactions like in the crowd and how those people just stopped and watched us, which I didn't think would happen, <laughs> honestly. I think the best part was just watching as people walk up. They're like, okay, what's going on? We're just playing the same thing over and over. What's going to happen? Oh, here's this guy walking up, Darth Vader. watching the audience. I was looking and I had my camera out and I wasn't filming the kids. I was filming the reaction of all the students and all the parents and the, the people on the street. They were like, what's going on? And I think it's best like we got to play some music that we don't always play, not some typical classical orchestral repertoire. It's some new stuff that we really enjoyed. I think it made it a fun experience for all of us playing music we all know. How cool is that? The Knoxville Symphony Youth Orchestra will hold its annual spring concert at the Tennessee Theater on Monday night. Admission is free. The concert begins at 7 with doors opening at 630.